Hi everyone. Uh, today I will show you how we can create different types of watas in Aviva 3D and I will show you the use of every attachments or ATA. So let's start. First we will create a ATA here for this wall and we will put a text there. This wall is whole due to vendor. So when someone extracts this isometric and this information shows in the isometric that this wall is whole. So now I will clear data here. And we will write here as text single quote ball with hold due to vendor data and close the quote and enter so now when you will extract this isometric and this information will show in the isometric click on piping here and we will run the isometric you can see that the valve is holding because we put the F text in the ATA. So this is the purpose of the ATA. We can show the information to the other person. This is the first one. So we will use second one now here. Now here we will create a ATA for this deck penetration. So when we, we will extract the isometric it will show there symbol of duct penetration. Um, we will check here. Uh, right now it is not showing anything here because we have duct penetration in this area and it is not showing because our tie is not there. So we will Click here, click attachments, and here you have to select penetration data. And we have to move to the click here. No data is there. So now again we will run the asymmetric. And now you can see that the deck penetration symbol is coming there. So this is the second use of the ATA. And third one is that in some cases what happened the isometric showing one portion and second sheet it is showing only the MTO. So there was in that second Sheets, there is no piping. So we can split the data. So let's say now if I want to make this isometric into two sheets, right now it is one sheet. We can create two sheets and three sheets as per our own requirement. Let's say now I will create a data here. And this time I will select general 80 
an attachment is created here. Uh, you can MTC off of all the attachments. So it will not reflect into the MTO. So here you have to type here A T T Y and five time X. Enter. Now this isometry will be split into two sheets. Let's run again. Uh, you can see that. Oh, we, I close that one. So I will run again. You can see that now we have two sheets. Previously it was only one because we created a new ATA here in this here and we changed the attachment type ATTY and 510 max. So similarly you can make two sheets, three sheets, four sheets. So this is the second use of the ATA. And now here, if you want to create the flow symbol, in this isometric, there is no flow symbol showing in the isometric here. So you can create a flow symbol with the help of ATAs. So let's start how we can do that. Let's say here I want to create a flow symbol here. I will create an ATA. Move north a meter. I will put MTOC off. And now you have to type here A T T Y and type flow. Enter. I will give you all types of VY3 commands in the description. You can go and check the link in the description for VY3 commands. Now let's start. We will run the asymmetric again. Now you can see that the flow symbol is created here. So this is the third use of the attachments. And a fourth one is if you want to sh show the uh, support location, then uh, you have to uh, click here, support data, and create. And why not? I will move to 50. We will run the symmetry again. And now you can see that a support attachment is created here. So it will show there that we are going to model support in this location to this distance. Mostly we are putting the support data in ETHOD while we are modeling. If any structure member is coming in between here, let structure member is coming here, bottom of this one, then we are creating a support data there. So that support guy can model support on that point or this will help to the stress engineer if he is doing the stress analysis. So in this way we can use uh, four types of attachments in a VY3D. Hope you understood how we can create uh, attachments in a VY3D.